7-11-2024, we're in Taigong's Six Secret Teachings, Chapter 4, Tiger Secret Teaching, Gongs and Drums. King Wu asked Taigong, I am leaving troops in enemy territory. Both sides are equal in strength and numbers. The weather is extremely hot or cold, or it rains heavily for 10 days nonstop, resulting in damage to the ditches and ramparts. Narrow passes and barricades are not guarded. Patrols are slack and negligent. If the enemy attacks at night, our three armies are not prepared and our officers and soldiers are all confused. What should we do? Taigong said, if the army is alert, it will come together while slackness leads to failure. Command your soldiers on the ramparts to challenge everyone. Sentinels should hold flags and communicate orders internally and externally. Gongs and drums should not stop. Officers and soldiers should face the enemy and be ready for imminent battle. Soldiers should be grouped into units of 3,000. Instruct and discipline them. Ask them to be on alert. If the enemy comes, they will see your discipline and readiness and turn around in fear. Then you can send strong troops to chase away and attack them when they are weary. I find that 3,000, while I don't normally find significance in these numbers, could be reference to a solid amount of investment money to actually implement a strategy with. Uh, $3,000 could potentially turn into a lot with the right uh, with the right picks and discipline. King Wu asked, The enemy knows we are going to chase, so they hide their strong soldiers in advance and pretend to retreat. When we enter their trap, they turn around to collaborate with their ambushing force. They attack the front, the rear, and the ramparts. Our enemy is in a panic and disturbed. The formation is disrupted. Soldiers leave their positions. What shall we do? Taigong said, You should divide your troops into three sections. The front unit chases the enemy. Take care not to enter the ambushed area. The first three units should attack the front and both flanks of the enemy. Give clear and strict orders. Command soldiers to advance rapidly. The enemy will definitely be defeated. Severed Roads King Wu asked Taigong, After leading our troops deep into enemy territory, we are confronted by enemy troops. They have cut off our supply routes and attacked us in the front and rear. I would like to fight, but we might not win. I would like to defend, but we cannot last long. What should I do? Taigong replied, when you fight deep in the enemy's territory, you must investigate the terrain in enemy positions. Occupy advantageous terrain. Strengthen the formations by using forests, mountains, springs, and rivers. Guard passes and bridges carefully. You should also occupy advantageous areas such as cities, towns, hills, and graveyards. In this way, your defense will be solid. The enemy cannot cut off your supply routes or attack you from the front and rear. King Wu asked, We cross large forests, wide marshes, and flat terrain, and our troops are delayed. The enemy suddenly attacks. If we advance, we cannot win. If we defend, we cannot be secure. The enemy surrounds us on both flanks and follows us in the rear. Our troops are fearful. What should we do? Taigong said, When you engage in battle, you should send patrols to faraway places. When you are 200 li from the enemy, you should understand their position in detail. Uh, one li is approximately one-third of a mile. So, 200 li, 200 thirds... 200 miles. <laughs> well, I mean, that's... Like within the state, I mean, depending on the state. Could be out of state if you're in a small state. If the terrain is disadvantageous, you should use the attack chariots as your ramparts in advance. Send two rear guard troops in the rear. The distance between the rear troops and the main troops should be between 50 and 100 li. Troops can rescue each other when an emergency occurs. If your army can maintain such complete and solid formations, you will not suffer from loss and failure. King Wu said, Brilliant. So, 200 miles times 66 miles, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a decent distance to spread the troops out and to have them come back and attack, I think. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, next we'll be doing Occupying Territories, Fire and Warfare, Empty Fortifications, and then that's going to take us into Leopard Secret Teaching.